Welcome back to Skyrim, the modded playthrough. I'm still running through a cave for the companion's quest. I'm trying to sneak through it, actually. Even though my light kind of gives me away, it still helps a little with sneaking. Uh, eventually, light won't be a huge factor. You practically have to get right in their face while standing up. Right in their line of view, actually. When you get your sneaking up high enough and light doesn't really seem to matter. But right now, lighting does matter for getting seen, but... As long as they don't see me, it should help with my sneaking, and so far it has been a little bit helpful with the, oh crap, the attacks, because I've managed to get some sneak attacks like I just did there. I don't know how I got that sneak attack, uh, but apparently, oh, he's the good guy. Whoops, I'm sorry. Crap. That ain't good. Oh, man. Okay, that guy's up, so he's taking their attention. Let's shoot this archer. Archer versus Archer. Oh crap, he got knocked down again. Switch my shout. Where's my shout? What shout am I on? I'm on Unrelenting. There we go. That ought to help. Get them away from me a bit. Can't believe I actually used that for once. It's actually helpful. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't ever use that when I'm in any other situation. Whenever I get to a point where I'm actually using fire or ice shouts, I end up using those first, and I picked up crap I shouldn't have picked up. Uh, still so- ah, that's actually pretty good. You're not worth the wait. You're nothing special, so I'm gonna drop you. Uh, let's see. Iron dagger, you're not worth the wait either. Even though it was kind of light, it still wasn't worth the wait because, obviously, it was basically one- or one pound or whatever per five value so five gold basically uh, there's some crap up here somewhere iron shield you're not worth the weight either that is uh, those aren't iron boots definitely aren't and iron armor let's drop one of those and I'll keep the rest because I'm now under 600 Adept chest. All right, let's see. Hopefully there's something useful in here that I can use that's worth money or maybe better armor. I don't know. Crap. Gotta go farther. Crap. Broke it. And did I... No. A little more? No, a little less. Crap. At least I found the location, sort of. I was gonna find that pixel perfect spot. Okay, I got it. That was cool. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to get it that time. Uh, oh, well. It's a good thing that I did get it, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. Ooh, cure disease. That's uh, worth the wait. Worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. Worth the wait. Oh, an up door. That's not the right direction to go, but I'll check that in a sec. And uh, check all these urns first. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, you can see the urn detail. They're a lot more textured than a vanilla unmodded game. Because of the texture mods I'm using. A lot of the stuff you can probably actually notice just by looking at it without me explaining though. And I think there was someone up there to loot, wasn't there? Or was that... Okay, I guess he didn't actually get a kill on anyone. He got his ass kicked because I kind of shot him and... Uh... Yeah, I kind of screwed myself over, which made me use Unrelenting Force. Which way? This way? Alrighty, cool. I got it. First try, pretty much. Well, first lockpick, I guess. It wasn't first try, but close enough. Frost salts, nice. Bun meal. Alrighty. Frost salts are good money. Let's go ahead and quick save. And let's see what this area looks like. Whoops, wrong thing. Where's that ring? There it is. Wow, that's way dark. Way dark. It's supposed to make it more realistically dark, but I kind of like have an unrealistic light spread throughout this place. Otherwise, you gotta find some way of making it look kind of crappy with a ton of lights and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and search this. Bone meal. Cool. Gold. Iron shield. No. A chest. Uh, oh, there's a key. Cool. And potions and a scroll. That scroll's going to be good money. It's probably some of the best value per weight you can actually get because it's 500 for a half pound, which is pretty awesome. Oh, crap. There's a dragger there. Let's go ahead and kill him. Cool. I haven't been paying attention to those. Okay, cool. Ooh, Ori Calcum. 
And did I search you? No, I did not. Potion. Cool. I think there are some potions you can make later on that are actually better than those scrolls in terms of value for the weight, though. No. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and quick save again. Because I found some good stuff, so that's kind of cool. And, oh, I needed that key anyways, okay. Because it required a key for this door. Ah, uh, there's a skeever. No big deal. Got it. Probably headshot, too. I don't know. I kind of lost track of- yeah, it was. Cool. Another one. That time it was neck shot, almost. Skeever tail. There's something else up there. Probably another skeever. Could be a draugr, though, somewhere. At least it was on the map. Or the compass waypoint. I think it's a compass, I don't know, it's some freaking bar instead of a circle. Oh, yeah, it's a skeever. Two skeevers! And it's dead. I don't know if I killed it or if he killed it, but I think he did. Awesome. And... I forgot this, actually, you can hear it now, right? The bubbly? It's kind of cool. It sounds like bubbling noodles or something. It's, it's a little neat. That's part of the sounds of Skyrim mud. And Draugr's have gold. Cool. There's a door that's locked. Oh, there's an urn. Good thing I'm searching before going through any doors. Otherwise, I'd probably be all derp. A wooden door that's not locked. Let's go through the locked one first. Nope, not there. Oop, right here. Awesome, got it. Whenever I find it, just like one shot it's just always luck i always just move i always start to the right some reason i don't know why i always get this weird feel it's always to the right it's always to the right sometimes other times i i seem to notice it seems to move a little much like it's a looser when i'm close to the thing and when i'm actually close to the right spot to open it which is how i knew that one time that it was to the right after searching multiple different spots because i saw uh, it, it moved a little, it seemed a little loose on one side compared to the other. And search and take. And spiders, oh crap. Spiders can poison. And I shot it, but I don't know where my helper is. Oh well, oh there he is. Yeah, you distract him for me. You can't die, so I don't really care. There we go, I killed it. Now you're just in the way, you're a jerk. And I killed the skeever. Now I gotta jump over him because he's an idiot. Uh, spider venom, yes. Because it's just money, I suppose. And I guess that's actually worth the wait. Awesome. And... Any other enemies in here? What does this area look like? Ooh, that texture kind of sucks still. I guess that wasn't replaced with the textures that I got kind of sucks. Oh well. I am also using the high-res texture mod DLC. So, yeah. Anything that didn't get replaced by the texture mods I'm using got replaced by that texture DLC. Because it's free and um, it's kind of free. I'll, I'll, st I'll stop there because it's part of why I'm still upset at Bethesda is that stupid DLC that they released. It was just... Uh, it was stupid. <laughs> I just... I want to complain about it still for some reason, but... Uh, what the hell? Just fall from the sky, jeez. But, whatever. I'm not gonna complain about it anymore. I gotta stop complaining about it. Holy crap. Yeah, no, okay. None of those... Is there anything over here hidden by any chance? No? Alrighty. And ground keeps flickering. It's annoying. There is also a glitch I've noticed. I don't know if it's because I've been using immortal mode and I kind of got decapitated so many times. But there is a glitch on my other character, which is actually just part of the game itself. It's not part of... I don't know if that thing's alive or not. No, it's dead. I don't know if it's, or I don't think it's part of any mods because it was happening before I started using mods, but some areas where there's water nearby, you'll start swimming in midair and it's a little bit annoying. I don't know why that happens at all. 
<laughs> but I do think it's because I got decapitated so much. So what happens if you get decapitated in immortal mode is you still live, but then it forces you into third person view because of the animation and everything. So you have to go back into the first person view before you can actually move. But then whenever you return to third person view, you can see your head rolling around a short distance away and it'll roll with the gravity. And so I, what I think is going on, uh, timer went off. <laughs> is because my head's rolling around is I, I think it's rolling into the water or something and setting me to swim where I shouldn't be swimming and when I stop swimming I just get far enough away that the head teleports to me and is no longer in that water but I don't know that's my only guess as to what's going on so let's go ahead and quick save and let's do a hard save and I think there's something that's gonna happen here so I'm gonna let's see save there we go so that is actually the end of this part, and on the next part, let's see. Oh, that looks kind of pretty, actually. Look at that, that looks... The ground actually looks pretty real with that. Put that back on, though. So yeah, that's the end of this part. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know with a comment, like, subscribe, and or share. And I'll see you guys on the next part or some other video. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye!